नाउ स्टूडेंट सेकेंड क्वेश्चन डिटरमाइन द एरिया इनक्लोज बिटवीन द कर्व y इक्वल्स टू फोर एक्स माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर एंड एक्स एक्सिस तो लेट एस चेंज इन टू होल स्क्वायर फर्स्ट वाई इक्वल्स टू फोर एक्स माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर so first of all let minus common so x square will be positive and 4 is will become negative now coefficient of x is 4 so we have to divide it by 2 so its half is 2 so we have to add 2 square and the same should be subtracted to make it perfect square so x square minus 4x 4 half is 2 2 square is added and the same is subtracted okay so y equals to minus it is x minus 2 whole square minus 4 Minus x minus two whole square minus four. Let us open the bracket. So it is y equals to minus x minus two whole square plus four. So when we take plus four this side, so it will be negative y minus four equals to minus x minus two whole square. So it can be written as x minus two whole square equals to minus y minus four. So I have converted it into perfect square. Okay. So it is the parabola. Correct. And its center will be. Two comma four, and this minus sign tells us it is the downward parabola with vertex two comma four. So let us draw its figure. So it is one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. This is x-axis. This is y-axis. So vertex two comma four. So in front of two, we have to take four. Correct. Students, when we put x equal to zero here, then we can get y also zero. it means it passes through 0 0 and when we put y 0 then we can get x also 0 and 4 two values so it is also passes through 4 comma 0 so this parabola i am going to draw so this is the parabola we have to find out area between this curve and x axis so this is the part between x axis and the parabola this area we have to calculate okay so this question first of all i have converted into whole square to check which kind of curve is is it this is a parabola downward parabola because it is in the form of x square minus 4 ay and its vertex is 2 comma 4 correct now students to calculate its area we have to draw a rectangular strip it is y dx correct 
okay so this is the reason a b c a we have to calculate area a b c a limits from 0 to 4 because the point where the curve intersect x axis are 0 and 4 that's why we have to take limits here 0 to 4 we have got this point by putting the value x 0 here so y is also coming 0 and when we put y 0 then we can get x equal to 0 x equal to 4 ok now here we have read y dx ok now value of y we have to put from the curve because the rectangular stream touches the curve here so we have to take the value of y from the curve so this is the curve equation y equals to 4x minus x square so area equals to 0 to 4 y value we have to put 4x minus x square dx correct let us calculate area it's integral 4x integral is 4x square upon 2 and x square integral is x cube upon 3 0 to 4 ok now we have to put the limits so let us put first 4 so it will be 4 square upon 2 4 into 4 square upon 2 minus put 4 here so it will be 4 cube upon 3 correct now we have to put 0 so when we put 0 then whole will become 0 so we have to write minus 0 ok now students you can see calculation now it will become 4 into 16 upon 2 minus 64 upon 3 4 cube will become 63 upon 64 upon 3 so let us calculate 2 8 the 16 8 4 the 32 32 minus 64 upon 3 let us take LCM it is 3 divided by denominator and multiply by numerator so it will be 96 minus 64 so let us calculate its area it is 32 upon 3 6 minus 4 2 9 minus 6 3 so this portion area we have calculated 32 upon 3 square unit ok students